Right then guys, how's it going and welcome back to Toon Tuesdays, your weekly roundup of Newcastle United news. I hope you guys are all doing good. You've had a good start to the week. The end of the week wasn't so great with Newcastle getting thumped 5-1 from Spurs. Um, I <laughs> don't really want to talk about that game to be honest. I would much rather talk about where we're going to be going next, but we will have to start with that unfortunately. Um, I actually watched back my instant reaction from the game and I think I'd gone through the stages of watching the game, I'd been frustrated, I was angry and then by the time I did my instant reaction I think I was just defeated to be honest because I didn't say it a huge amount, I, didn't, I wasn't particularly angry at that point, I think I was just so deflated by a disappointment almost, you know there was... There was two things in that game. I think the first one you've got to look at is we were playing a Spurs side who have world-class Harry Kane up front and Son in form. They're now sitting fourth in the league. They're cha challenging for Champions League football. So you definitely have to keep everything in perspective. But we just completely collapsed in the second half. You know, that was really, really uh, not what we've... And again, I was going to use the word expect. That's not what we've come to expect with this Eddie, Sa Eddie Howe side after how well we've done, you know, in let's say the last 12 games, nine of those being unbeaten and then a, um, a tough loss to take against Chelsea because of the, the officials in that game. And then the Everton game wasn't great either. But we've had that trip out to Dubai um, to come back specifically for this game. We've had 17 days to prepare for this game and to come out and lose like that was, was really, really... Um, disappointing and as I say again keeping things in perspective you know a few months ago I would have said how many people can fit on the line you know we didn't do that we did go out there we tried to play some football but it just and again in the half time I'm sure Eddie Howe didn't say right lads go out there and concede four but that's what it looked like you know so I'm, I'm, I'm really wanting to just write that off as a blip because that's as I say you know, it was a really poor performance and it's it's really tough to take as we are now going into a very important period of the season. We have eight games left and I know we're sat in a nice place, currently nine points ahead of the relegation zone, but the job's not done yet and we need to fix that very quickly. So as I say, I'm turning my back on Sunday and I'm looking forward to what is now three or four huge games coming up. And in a way... You know, playing that, in that Spurs game, you know, I would have taken a point from it before it started. I knew it was going to be a tough one. That was not the way I thought it was going to go. But, at the very least, I'm hoping that game has given these players the biggest kick up the backside. A huge eye-opener to where we actually are. We're back down on planet Earth again. We've, we've done fantastic with that unbeaten run. But that has really shown us where we are. And at the end of the day... I said this a long time ago, if you'd offered me 17th at the start of the season, I would have taken it. And that is because I think like most Newcastle fans, I want to get to the end of this season. I want to get into that summer uh, transfer window and I want to start this rebuild or rejuvenation or whatever you want to call it. The point is I want to be in the Premier League at the end of this season and we can, we can talk about next season, you know. But to do that, we have to play some very important games coming up. As I say... Um, Wolves on Sunday, then it's Crystal Palace, sorry, Wolves on Friday, then it's Leicester on the following Sunday, then it's Crystal Palace on the Wednesday, so basically it's three games in almost a week, Wolves on the Friday, then right, not that Sunday, right the way around to the next week on the Sunday, then Crystal Palace on the Wednesday, and then it's Norwich away on the Saturday, so those three home games in a row, and then Norwich. For me, um, I, I'm truly hoping, to be honest, that we can we can get the job done in these games and well, basically secure our safety in the Premier League in these next four games. We've got three home games in a week. You know, I, we we have to be coming out at the end of this with with a whole load of points, to be honest, uh, because following those four games, and I know we've got a good gap, but I don't want to rely on other teams losing. I want us to try and go out there and and do it ourselves. Obviously, if other teams are losing at the same time, that would be quite handy. But we should be going out there to, I think, you know, Wolves are a good side. 
the challenging for Europe. Leicester won the league a few years ago. Crystal Palace went and beat Arsenal 3 0 last night. But I do actually think if we can, again, remove whatever that Spurs game was from our memory and go back to how well we were playing just a few weeks ago, I think we've got a really good, really good chance in these games. Uh, Wolves themselves coming up this Friday. You know, Jimenez is, um, is, is banned at the moment from a red card. Uh, Neves is out with an injury. So, you know, they've got some troubles as well. And I'm hoping we can take advantage of that. And as I say, in front of a home crowd who are going to be cheering on these guys, we've got some big games coming up. Let me know down below how many points you expect Newcastle to get from, let's say, those four games or at least the three home games. Are you looking at three wins? Are you looking at two wins and a draw? You know, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, so as I say, <laughs> I've got no doubt anyhow we'll have the lads running laps right now as we speak uh, around the training field for how poor they, they were in that game. And as I say, the, the biggest thing I can hope is, you know, I think those players would have come off, come, come away from that Spurs game embarrassed. You know, they've got a, a point to prove now, especially with this summer coming up. You know, I really don't think anybody's safe. I think we will lose at least a handful of players, and I think we'll bring in a handful. You know, nobody's safe. Um, I need to come back and, and prove it on Friday night. Under the lights, I cannot wait for it, to be honest. I think it's going to be an incredible game, <laughs> providing that we uh, we put in a decent performance at the very least. You know, we don't ask for a team that wins every game. We ask for a team that goes out there and gives it the best shot. And that was why the second half against Spurs was the most frustrating thing, because... Just looked like we lost the plot. Um, and, and and as I say, following those four games, it then goes into Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal with Burnley last game of the season. So we don't even want to get into that conversation yet because hopefully we've got the job done before then. Uh, just to clear, um, go through a few of the things that are obviously going on. I mean, one of the big things at the moment is that uh, Trippier had his foot scan, which everyone hoped was going to bring some good news and that we might have him back a little bit sooner. Unfortunately, the scan did not go as well as hoped and we are still going to be waiting on Trippier a little bit longer. And as I say, with you know a game after that Spurs side, you want a player like Trippier back as quick as you can. It, it does sound like we'll still have him before the end of the season, but as I said, um, the initial timeline was potentially that Crystal Palace game. It's sounding like it will be later than that now. Um, a big conversation topic at the moment is the fact that Bruno obviously didn't play in the game against Spurs. I fully expect him to start against Wolves. He had a fantastic international break and I really wanted to see him in the side. Um, and obviously the player that you would assume would make way is John Joe Shelby. And John Joe didn't have a good game, but no one did. Let's be honest. No one had a good game. So... Uh, had you know people are, people are asking Eddie how why didn't you play Bruno um as good as the guy is uh he's not good enough to play for those other 10 players who were shocking on the day so um yeah I expect Bruno to be back um and then the, the other topic that just continues to go on is the Saint Maximan topic um he's being linked with with multiple clubs once again news articles coming out that he won't be here at the end of the season um, obviously Newcastle are being linked with a lot of players and you know as much money as we've got people are, the conversation is if we sold St Max for 50-60 million would have even more to spend the guy isn't playing great no one played great against Spurs I was happy to see St Max in that lineup because especially against a Spurs side where we needed the potential of a bit of a, a bit of speed up front some counter attack um I, I I put a lot of, I I think some of it's true I think the I think that obviously he hasn't been playing great at the moment and that kind of fuels rumors there's conversations about whether he's apparently asking for more money as well um I think there's there's some underlying truth there but I really can't see him going this summer I think it will be crazy to let him go um, I think he'll be here next season and then depending on how he does next season then we can talk about it a little bit further but part of me just thinks that it's a bit of a slow uh, week for the journalists and they just want to talk about it you know because again the next thing I was going to mention is like St Max is getting linked away in the summer we are li being linked to more and more players you know we've not even got through uh, this season yet and already the summer is like the the hot topic and I think this is something we're going to have to get used to as Newcastle fans is even when we're not in the transfer window, we are still being linked to players. The newest rumour is that we've already had a £100 million bid um, rejected for the uh, Napoli striker, Victor... Is it Ozemen? Ozemen? Um, 
again, I don't watch a huge amount um, of foreign football, but from what I've seen, he looks like a, a good player. And and again, you know, that's the one of many that we're getting linked with. And I only think as we get closer and closer to the summer window, that is going to heat up even more. And as I say, I think if we hadn't had the takeover um, and everything else, I would not, I wouldn't see Saint Max getting linked away. I think it's because now we've got money, we can bring in other players. That that's kind of why that's happening more and more. But as I say, watch the space. Who knows what's going to happen? And then to finish off with a bit of great news as well. Um, it's been going on for a while now. The new Newcastle United Foundation Centre, which is in the city centre, not far from Saint James's Park, cost eight million to build, is now officially open. Um, which again, you know, I think this was the. Um, you know, uh, obviously the new owners have come in, and we've seen lots and lots of little changes and, and everything like that. And this was something that was going on before before they even got here. But it's great to see these kind of things happening. It's not on the field. It's not transfers. It's something really of anything that's helping actually um, just the population of Newcastle in the city centre. So that's really really good news and great to see. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I actually talked for longer than I, than I planned to. There, I'm a bit a bit busy this week and I've I've not edited today's Tune Tuesday, so I do apologise if you prefer the ones that are edited. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know. That... We don't want to talk about Spurs anymore. So let me know your thoughts on the three games coming up. Uh, would you make any changes to the lineups coming in? I know I spoke about Bruno and I've spoken about Saint Max. Uh, what kind of points do you think we're going to pick up from these next games? Um, and are we going to have a good night on Friday night? Because I, I, I really hope we are. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching as always. Drop a like and subscribe. As I say, I'm busy at the moment and things are going to get even busier. So many um, videos going to be coming up in the next week and a half. Obviously, three home games. I'll be at every single one of them. We'll have pre-match chats. We'll have instant reactions. We'll have the vlogs to come as well. So be sure to check all of that out. And as I say, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, and I'll catch you later.